In this video, we are going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a flat slab. First of all, you need to know the meaning of flat slab. Like most traditional slab that has beams and gathers underneath, a flat slab is a two-way reinforced concrete slab, which usually does not have beams and gathers underneath. Instead, they have just a column supporting the slab and the load are transferred directly to the supporting concrete columns. Now, if this is the first time you are coming across my channel, I make content on civil engineering. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to get notified when I upload a new video. With that being said, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a flat slab. Advantages of flat slab Flat slab are used by engineers in many buildings because of its advantages over other reinforced concrete floor systems. One of the advantages will include flexibility in room layouts. This means the partition walls can be placed anywhere, four ceilings can be omitted, and this will also offer a variety of room layout to the owner. Two, reinforcement placement is easier. Because reinforcement detailing of flat slab is so simple, it is easier to place. Three, Building height can be reduced. Since there is no beam used on flat slab, the floor height can be reduced, which will also make the building height to reduce. Foundation load will also reduce. Four, which is the last advantage, less construction time. Now, because there is no beam and gathers, this will also help to reduce the construction time. So these are the advantages of using a flat slab. Now let's take a look at some disadvantages. One, span length is minimum. In flat slab, it is not allowed to have large span. Since there are no beams and gathers, it is Better for the span length to be short so as not to cause failure. 2. Flat slab is not suitable for brittle or masonry partition. 3. When using flat slab, the drop panels may interfere with large mechanical ducting. Finally, higher slab thickness. Compared to typical reinforced concrete two-way slab system, the thickness of flat slab are higher. So it makes sense because there are no beams or gather, meaning we should use a higher thickness. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of using a flat slab. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share these videos to friends who want to know the advantages and disadvantages of using a flat slab. Bye-bye.